Immerse yourself in the captivating story of Custer State Game Lodge, where the Lady of the House lingers even in death. Discover the eerie encounters and unexplained phenomena that have fascinated visitors for generations. Follow young historian Amelia as she unravels the secrets of the lodge, piecing together a tale of love, tragedy and the enduring connection between a woman and her beloved home. Prepare to be enchanted by this haunting tale set amidst the picturesque landscapes of South Dakota's Black Hills. The Custer State Game Lodge stood proudly amidst the vast expanse of the Black Hills, its weathered facade a testament to a bygone era. Nestled in the heart of South Dakota, the lodge had a rich history that veiled tales of mystery and intrigue. While many flocked to the lodge for its breathtaking natural beauty, some visitors were drawn to it for a different reason altogether, the stories of the Lady of the House. Legend had it that the Lady of the House, who once presided over the lodge, still lingered within its walls long after her passing. In the tranquil wintertime, when the snow blanketed the landscape in a soft white embrace, she would make her presence known. Some claim to have seen her ethereal figure standing behind the front windows, her eyes filled with an otherworldly longing. But it was not just her apparition that haunted the lodge. Strange happenings occurred within its rooms as well. The older rooms above the front desk were said to be her favorite haunt. Guests and staff alike would find themselves perplexed as they witnessed water suddenly pouring from faucets that were firmly shut off. It was as if the lady of the house was determined to ensure that her beloved lodge was kept in pristine condition. The silverware in the lodge's dining hall also seemed to have a mind of its own. It would rearrange itself, as if guided by some unseen force. The staff would wake up each morning to find the cutlery neatly organized in patterns that defied explanation. Some whispered that it was the lady's way of reminding them of the meticulous attention she had once given to every detail of the lodge. Yet it was on the top floor that the most inexplicable occurrences took place. Once used as servant quarters, it now served as storage. But those who ventured up there claimed to hear voices echoing through empty hallways and footsteps pitter-pattering across dusty floors. The lady's presence was palpable, as if she were reliving memories from a time long gone. There was one particular room on the top floor that held an eerie fascination for everyone who encountered it. No matter how diligently it was cleaned, flies would always gather on the window pane, no matter the time of year or weather outside. The room exuded an aura of sadness and melancholy, leaving those who entered feeling a shiver down their spine. Intrigued by these tales, a young historian named Amelia arrived at Custer State Game Lodge. Armed with her curiosity and an insatiable thirst for knowledge, she delved into archives and spoke with locals who had known the lady of the house during her lifetime. As she unraveled the secrets shrouding the lodge, Amelia began to understand the deep connection between the lady and her beloved home. Through her research, Amelia discovered that the lady of the house had been a visionary pioneer, instrumental in transforming the lodge into what it was today. She had poured her heart and soul into every aspect of its construction, ensuring that it would stand as a testament to both beauty and hospitality. But tragedy had struck when her husband perished in a tragic accident, leaving her grief-stricken and alone. In her despair, she had dedicated herself to preserving their legacy, even in death. The sightings of her ghostly figure and the inexplicable happenings within the lodge were her way of ensuring that her spirit remained intertwined with its very essence. Inspired by this revelation, Amelia set out to honor the Lady of the House and bring peace to her restless spirit. With each passing day, she meticulously restored the lodge to its former glory, paying homage to its rich history and the love that had been poured into its creation. As Amelia worked tirelessly, whispers of gratitude began to fill the air. The water ceased its ghostly flow, and the silverware remained undisturbed. The voices and footsteps from above gradually faded away, and even the room with perpetually trapped flies regained its tranquility. Finally, one winter's night, as snowflakes fell gently from the sky, Amelia stood by the front windows and caught a glimpse of something ethereal. It was a fleeting image, but she knew without a doubt that it was the lady of the house bidding her farewell. A smile graced Amelia's lips as she watched the apparition slowly fade away into nothingness. The Custer State Game Lodge stood tall once again, its walls infused with a sense of peace and fulfillment. Visitors continued to be bewitched by its beauty, 
but now they also marveled at its mysterious history. And though they may still catch a glimpse of the lady of the house in their peripheral vision, or hear whispers in forgotten corners, they know that her spirit is no longer restless, but finally at peace in the place she called home. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey through the haunted halls of Custer State Game Lodge. As we bid farewell to the Lady of the House and her spectral presence, we hope you were entranced by the mysterious tales and intriguing history of this remarkable place. If you enjoyed this story, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more captivating narratives and engaging content. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment below to share your thoughts and experiences. Until next time, may you find yourself immersed in the enchanting world of stories, where the past and present intertwine to create unforgettable moments. Stay tuned for more thrilling adventures that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Remember, life is full of unexpected twists and turns, much like the stories we tell. So, keep exploring, keep dreaming, and never stop seeking the magic that lies within the pages of a well-crafted tale. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Goodbye for now.